This is Today in New York. Yeah, uh, Gus, on Friday, the Labor Department reported that the U.S. economy added 209,000 jobs in July. And many of those people will likely join the Monday through Friday workforce. But recently, the richest man in the world suggested maybe we should rethink the way we work. He says, shorten the work week and extend retirement age. Dr. Woody Woodward is a coach in organizational psychology. Great to see you today, Woody. Um, when we're talking about a shorter work week, some people already have this. Uh, nurses often work three 12-hour right. shifts in a row. Why does that make sense? Well, it, it depends on the type of job we're talking about. And you know, this idea of the compressed work week, so Carlos Slim was talking about a three-day, 33-hour week to kind of compress things to give people more time. And the reality is we do that in a lot of types of jobs anyway. But I think the real question here is not about going to that three-day, 30 week. It's more about does the five days, 40-hour week make sense anymore? It's been around for 75 years, and I would say it probably doesn't for most cases. There are some countries that have already moved beyond this. Mm -hmm. We're talking about uh, France, 35-hour work week. Sweden is experimenting with six-hour work yep. days. Yep. And other European nations, I mean, look, Spain, you might have mm. a three-hour siesta in the middle of the day. Sure, sure. So, so you, you might have a long day, but you get a good break in between there. Why do we, we, need to, we need to rethink the way that we approach the 9 to 5 office well, day? Whenever I talk to clients, one of the things I always advise them is ask your people what works for them. Mm -hmm. And also think about what are you paying for? Are you paying for hours or are you paying for output? Uh, a lot of jobs, it makes sense to kind of schedule them by hours because someone actually needs to physically be somewhere, like customer service, for example, or driving a train, right? So if you're a server at a restaurant, right. you, you, you need, need people to, to serve there, right? Right. But uh, on the other side of it, for so many types of manufacturing type of jobs, we pay people by time when it really should be about what they're putting out because paying people by time can punish those who do really good effort and produce more than their counterparts who are producing less than the same amount of the time. The other thing, when you're talking so. about any kind of creative field, whether it's um, uh, right. advertising, right. Or news, um, if you're doing documentaries, some of your most creative hours don't happen between 9 to 5. For some right. people who are night owls, those might happen late at night. But if you have to show up at the office from 9 to 5 or 8 to 7 or something like that, then they might not be getting the best out of you. Well, and also the reality is technology is changing the way we work. Like I said, the 40-hour the work week's been around since the 1930s. I think it's kind of time to change because a lot has changed in that time period. But we're doing away with accountants with QuickBooks. We're doing away with lawyers with LegalZoom. I mean, so there's a lot of change out there. We need to start thinking about how we leverage technology to be smarter about how we work. 43% of the companies right now offer some kind of right. compressed work week according to Society for Human Resources. Do you think it's likely that we can change, I mean, when you're a specialist in an organizational psychology, right. can we change the group think, the mindset around that 40-hour work week? And, and that's what I like about what Carlos Slim is suggesting. I don't think it's necessarily let's compress to the 33 hours. That might not make sense for a lot of hourly people who are struggling to get by on even 40 hours plus overtime. Mm -hmm. So it's how do we rethink and ask people what works for them, what makes sense for them, how do we get the best out of them and their best timing, and also allow them the opportunity to provide for their families, but also to be with their families when they need to. Woody, it's a great um, perspective. I like the, the thought process that goes into this. Thank you so much for joining us. And you can connect with, connect with Dr. Woody online, drwoody.com. Gus, back to you. All right. Thank you, guys.